hi foodies welcome back to the channel if you're new hi there my name is mawena welcome to our foodie world where we bring you simple relatable homemade meals we are back again with another video and today we are making mango ice cream trust me this is the most delicious ice cream flavor you would never want to miss so if you are interested stay tuned and let's get right into it If you've been following our ice cream series, you know Danke Chef is my favorite whipping cream for ice creams. However, you can use any heavy whipping cream of your choice. We added 500 ml of heavy whipping cream into our mixing bowl. And obviously, we put our mixing bowl in the fridge for a while just to keep it cool so we don't end up with a runny ice cream, okay? And then with your hand mixer you whip your whipping cream until it becomes fluffy if you don't have a hand mixer don't worry at all you can use your egg whisk as always all ingredients used will be in the description below so do well to check it out once you achieve the consistency you want you set your whipping cream aside and now time to blend our mango so we've already diced our mango as you can see right here you see how beautiful our mango looks it the enter your irv <laughs> okay so with our potter blender we just transfer our diced mango into the blender and then we blend so if you don't have a potter blender i mean why don't you have one however <laughs> you can use your normal blender and then don't add any water at all because mango is salt it will blend on its own without water once you achieve this mango puree right here you then transfer it onto your whipping cream that you whipped earlier After transferring your mango puree onto your whipped cream, you add condensed milk. Mind you, mango is a bit sweet, so you have to gauge the condensed milk right, just so you don't end up making your ice cream too sweet, okay? I used some leftover coconut condensed milk that I had from our coconut ice cream. However, you can use any condensed milk of your choice. And then you mix the puree together with the whipped cream and this is the consistency we got however if your mango puree isn't much and it's less than your whipping cream it might look whitish instead of yellow so you can just drop just a little drop of yellow food coloring into it and you get your yellow color i mean homemade cooking we try to make it as healthy as possible without any form of additives so just a little drop will go a long way okay so with these three ingredients your mango ice cream is ready if you have an ice cream maker you can transfer your mixture into your ice cream maker and you're good to go however since we don't have an ice cream maker we transfer it into our freezer so you can pour your mixture into a bowl with a cover or something like this and then you cover it with a cling film then you put it in the freezer for at least four hours or you freeze it overnight and then before you serve you take it out of the freezer let it sit for a few minutes before you scoop as when you take it out directly from the freezer it will be very difficult to scoop so once you let it sit for a while then it will be very easy for you to scoop and your ice cream is ready for you to save now who else will bring you simple recipes like this for it to be so easy for you to try like this and even tell you the ingredients to use like this <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to this channel please hit the subscription button we are almost a thousand subscribers please share okay share with your friends and family and then also subscribe okay
we garnished our ice cream with some cashew nuts and mint leaves and here we go just look at how yummy this looks and it tasted so delicious after garnishing we realized that a big portion of ice cream also needed some garnishing too so we topped it with some cashew nuts and some diced mango just look at how pretty this looks if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe comment like and share with your family and if you do try this recipe do let us know thanks for watching guys we'll see you in our next video bye guys